I think it teaches you how to be a leader, how to sometimes be a bigger person in a situation when you necessarily don't want to. Also, too, just how to be a part of a team, how to be a part of a culture. Whether it's a team where you're working on building culture or you're part of a team that's working on sustaining culture, there's so many different valuable things that you learn from playing the sport. We talked in the old days a lot about the power of the pack, the pack coming before yourself. For me personally, I've played volleyball since I was in middle school and it meant so much to be able to grow within the game with my friends too. Volleyball is really special in the aspect of you can grow your game mentally by just handling situations, pressurized situations, but also physically by athleticism as an individual and also as a team as well how hungry they are, how driven they are, how hard they come into practice and they want you to work for it. The combination of that and also being un uncomfortable, I think it's going to take our program to a very far place. The girls this year, they have really set the standard and the amount of desire and drive to want to push this program to a place that's never been before. This year's team is really special because of their team chemistry. It doesn't happen often where you get a group that really gets along well, that believes in each other. They get over the little things very quickly this year. They're a team that if they do make a mistake, it doesn't spoil the next three plays and boil into something where now we're in a string of mistakes. And I think that comes because they're really close. I think they really enjoy each other. And I, to be honest, it's made it really exciting and really fun. Even talking about going to super sectionals, anything beyond sectionals right now is going to be an uncomfortable feeling, but I'm confident that our girls can handle it. part of a team, I think, really forces you into that bigger team, the smaller team, what your roles are, and to me, there's nothing that mimics life uh, better than this sport.
So first and foremost, okay, somebody who's been doing this a long time, okay, this is a sport that you have to leave your ego at the door and you have to decide at some point that you are going to buy into coming to work every day, working hard, and then maybe not being in the stat line. This is, that's this sport. This is a very tough sport with that. That is a, this is a very thing. And then it's also a sport that tells you that at any moment, all of a sudden you could get thrown into the fire and then you're asked to perform. And it could be and all of a sudden you just gotta go in and serve a ball and tough. Or all of a sudden some momentum changes in a game and then all of a sudden you're the one that's out there. Or that maybe it could be because who, who's on the other side of the court, the way the matchups go and those kind of things. And you let us help you with all of that this year, but really at the end of the day, okay, you're by far, by far the hardest practicing team I've ever been around. And you are a joy to be around. I absolutely loved coaching you this year and being around. You gotta love this sport, and there's a lot of tough things that come with this sport. I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough for this weekend. Seriously, I love, I love, love you all. This was unbelievable. The way you handled yourself, your attitudes, all of it, all of it. I hope this, I hope this lasts forever. I hope this memory lasts forever for you. It was a, an unbelievable thing that you did. An unbelievable thing. Whether you're out there or not, flat out. Thank you. 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 I've learned a lot and been put through the ringer a lot, right? And so I thank the two of you for just having so much patience and I'm just going to be thrilled with grown for this. And then even further out, just this team, this dynamic, this culture, being here, people not realizing how much of like a we aspect this is and the team aspect this is. We did some unbelievable things um, and I'm just so proud of these girls. I'm so proud and happy that they bought into us, they bought into each other and uh, they work hard and they play for each other. I mean, made it all the way to the end, all of it. My favorite memory was making it to state. My favorite memory from this year would be playing St. Lawrence. My favorite memory of this season was probably all of the bus rides uh, to games and stuff because everybody was just listening to music together and dancing and having a great time. My favorite memory from this season is probably the pre-game energy between the girls. My favorite memory from this season was just team bonding with the team. Since, since I came as a freshman, everyone was so welcoming. And all of our team hangouts, we've gotten so close and everyone's became just my best friends. My favorite memory is this team and just all the pre-game warm-ups and everything we did before the games, like the rituals. My favorite memory was definitely beating St. Lawrence for the Super Sectionals. My favorite memory was beating St. Lawrence and realizing we're going to state. My favorite memory from this season has just been going to state for the first time in school history. My favorite memory was hanging out in the locker room in the hotel in the bus with my teammates and bonding. And my favorite memory was the locker room before our first home game when we were all like getting hyped with each other. My favorite memory was winning super sectionals and making history for our school. My favorite memory with the team is winning super sectionals. It was such an exciting moment for us and we knew we had made history. My favorite memory was the pregame rituals every game where we just play our favorite songs and we act as a team. My favorite memory from the season was when we went 34-32 um, Loyola and we beat them in two for two games and that's when we got a sense of community and a feeling we can make history. My favorite memory this year was definitely going to state. Um, it's been on my bucket list for a long time now and I couldn't have asked for better teammates to go to state with and I'm just so excited to be here. My favorite memory is probably winning super sectionals and then afterwards hanging out with a group of girls that I love so much and like made so many memories with and just like spending quality time because that's my favorite thing to do. So, yeah. <laughs>